Oh, you ran out of power? It's on? Yeah, it's, it's on. Okay. Okay, so we've arrived at the last session of this meeting, and we thought it was appropriate and probably very interesting to um, ask Steve to have the last word in this meeting, because it's dedicated to him. And we told him he could say whatever he wanted to say, so I have no idea what it's going to be. <laughs> it could just be that he stands up and says, thank you very much, <laughs> and then walks away. But he won't, I think. So if you'll allow me to just speak for myself for just one minute. Um, so we, we spoke about migration, some people moving back and forth. I migrated a fair bit. I went across the ocean and the continent, went to Berkeley as a postdoc, and then we went to New York, and I actually made an attempt to go back to Europe, which failed miserably. I went back to New York, and that's where I've been since then. But I do remember vividly, 18 September 1988, I actually arrived in Berkeley, and two things struck me within a very short period of time. First was the, the weather was excellent. <laughs> Unbelievable. And the other thing was, um, there was this incredible variety of things that people worked on, and it was a natural thing for people to think about very different things, and it was not the culture that I came from. And sort of secretly had hoped, I had hoped, that I would get to work on a whole bunch of these different things that looked very cool. And it turns out Steve actually does work on a whole bunch of very different things that are all very cool, and he makes contributions to all of them. And so definitely moving <laughs> to California made a huge and dramatic turn in my life, I have to say. So, and for that, I have to thank you. Fritz didn't mention the most important thing that happened. So Fritz shows up in California in 1988, and it turns out he doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> people in Holland somehow don't learn how to drive. He told me it was, uh, costs a lot of money to learn how to drive, and nobody does it. I said, you got to learn how to drive out here. <laughs> so, we were going back and forth to Livermore. As Fiona told you earlier, I was driving a car that was unsafe at any speed, so Fritz didn't want to drive with me. Um, so he found a driving school. I had a driving instructor. And what is it now, 20-something years later, Fritz is married to Celia, and they have three children. And so not learning how to drive was the secret to your happiness. <laughs> <laughs> he did learn how to drive. So I'm not going to speak very long, and I'm not going to show any slides. Um, these days, I give a PowerPoint presentation probably twice a day. <laughs> and they're all the same presentation. <laughs> and it makes me nauseous to show them. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. But I did write down some comments. So forgive me if I read some things. I'll try not to read too much. Uh, first off, uh, let me just uh, express um, how tremendously honored and delighted I am to see so many old friends and colleagues come from so many diverse places. Uh, Jelle Kostra came from Utrecht in the Netherlands. Uh, Alexander Refregier and Adam Amara and Chi Wei Chang came from Zurich in Switzerland. Of course, Harvey and Mark Bouts came from Boston. Uh, Fritz, Dave Hel David Helfand. Um, came from New York, a um, lot of local people. Pat Osmer came from Columbus, Ohio. Chuck came from New York. Uh, lots of people here from Caltech. My mother came from Philadelphia. <laughs> and my sister. <laughs> um, it's, it's really um, quite delightful to see people want, want to make the trip for this purpose. So one of the nice things about um, having this occur at age 60 rather than at a later age or at retirement um, is that we can not only bring together uh, people that have, I've mentored, like former students and postdocs uh, and staff, but also my own personal mentors, uh, people like Martin Weisskopf, uh, who discovered me as a 17-year-old at Columbia, uh, Stu Boyer, who was here earlier, who was my graduate advisor at Berkeley, and of course Harvey Tannenbaum, uh, who I met when I became a postdoc at the Center for Astrophysics. And not only are these people still alive, uh, but they're actually, as you can tell from the discussion, still quite active research-wise. So, you know, when people come up to me and say, oh, you have this, are you retiring now? And I said, no, these guys haven't retired. <laughs> Why should I retire? <laughs> 
Um, it, and let me just comment, it's also a, a personal delight to see my astrophysical colleagues, people I've worked on on various topics over the years, uh, milling around for coffee and hopefully over drinks tonight uh, with my now not so new, but new colleagues at Stanford and at Slack who work in other fields. And for those of you from 